Hello, today is August 23rd. This is going to be the job for Mitch Leachman at 2728 Lakeport uh, doing a water heater replacement. We're changing out this electric water heater that you see here um, with a gas and we're moving it. So this location is going to be not used. We're just going to remove it, cap off the uh, water lines and um, obviously disconnect the electric which is right here at the box so it's you're talking a two foot over so just disconnect it from the breaker leave the breaker turned off in case the customer wants to use it for another electric line in the future or whatever um, so the water pipe the the new the new water heater will actually be in the room over there on the other side of that wall I'll just give you a feeling here the um, this is uh, this room here the cold water comes from right here that's the water meter right over there behind that fireplace. So it's coming up over the wall and uh, comes into this room here where the electric water heater's at. So here's the pipe here, comes up along the ceiling, and that's where it first tees off at. So it's feeding the water heater by going down to there. So obviously that's no longer going to be needed. So we're going to cap that off uh, right there, and we're going to run a new um, three-quarter inch water line all the way down to feed everything down there so um, you can either two ways this can be done you can either remove that half inch line that's feeding all the sinks and the washer washer and uh, bathtubs that are all down there and run the thing is you'll have to use all new tees to where it branches off of this line in several spots or you can run a new three-quarter inch line and just leave that one in place to feed the colds that are already in place and run just a new three-quarter line if it's doable which it looks like it is just straight all the way down to there um, so actually what would be probably best you could even maybe use the hot the cold the hot water line from the old water heater turn that into the new cold right here because you can see that's the insulated line here is your current hot line feeding everything's down there plumbing wise there's nothing over here that's being fed so you could turn this into the cold line um, and run it all the way down and I'll show you the other room here real quick okay so here's the other side of that wall so Again, here's that insulated line. It's weird. They put like plastic something over it. But anyway, that's the hot line now. So the first place that it branches off is right here. So um, again, we could either um, then it's half inch here too. So that's not going to work. So scrub that idea. Just run a new. Just either replace the half inch cold line now. You can see there's a. Uh, one place that tees off here there's a place there there's another place um, down there for the washer um, right down there and then there's another ba bathroom down here so here's another place that the cold tees off of um, and then it goes up one more time up to there I think that's for the bathtub so um, again either run a new cold line down straight off that cold where it comes in that room over there and just run it directly to the water heater um, that's probably the easiest thing to do um, and it looks like there's plenty of ceiling space to do that so I would just stick with doing that and then just tie into the cold, the hot down here where it's already at so um, and then on the flu there's already a three inch there used to be a gas water heater in the past so there's a three inch connection on the swivel tee right there already and you're going to need approximately let's see from there to the wall where it's going to be um, you're looking at probably six eight bring about uh, 10 12 foot of three inch pipe and probably three elbows and that should be uh, plenty and then obviously an expansion tank for code and uh, um, we're tying into the gas line right over let's see here here's the furnaces the furnace lines coming up here going over and it goes over to here um, so we could there's a there's a, a union right here 
So the water heater is going to be sitting probably about right in here where those pots are or right to the left of that. So if we tie in, break that union apart, put a T in there, and then run a piece of a uh, half inch track pipe right down to the water heater, you're going to need at the most uh, 10, 12, 10 foot at the most of track pipe. So bring a piece of half inch track pipe, two fittings, and a three quarter by three quarter by half T to fit in right there next to that union to feed the water heater. And uh, that should be it. Thanks, Mike.